as requested a uh, video on my DIY solar generator or at least battery pack this is a uh, about a 15 to 20 dollar craftsman box and uh, I have this 12 volt uh, three individual circuits so if you wanted to put this in a van or a camper you could uh, power these have three different circuits and actually have them controlled individually and then it's got lots of uh, 2.4 amp uh, 5 volt USB chargers got a very inexpensive Harbor Freight 400 watt power inverter uh, that was about $25, $28. This was uh, about 15 bucks on Amazon. And that's really all you would need. I'm still missing a port for my solar. I haven't wired that up yet. Um, but what I did was just to run a cheap um, battery charger. Just kind of did it sloppily, but uh, if you want to plug it into power, trickle charger batteries, and inside what I have is, so I have my uh, solar charge controller, which I, uh, again, I'm going to um, run a port off the side, a disconnect. Uh, and then just obviously run it into here and I'm not worried about I can pop the cover off easy enough to uh, to check these settings if I need to see what the solar is uh, coming in but I'm not even there yet and then just a very like I said another I don't know 20 25 dollar item from Harbor Freight everything here is extremely inexpensive I probably have fifty dollars total and uh, don't laugh at my wiring it's uh it's a trial and error kind of thing. This is just uh, my first version. But um, the inverter is fused. Um, the uh, 12 volt outlet's fused. Um, I'll fuse the solar coming in. I don't think I need to fuse this. Um, and these are 18 amp hour batteries that um, I actually get from work. So I have no cost uh, invested in those, but eventually I will get a nice deep cycle battery to put in here and uh, maybe I could probably fit a 100 amp hour in there. Anyway, by request, that's it. Just a really sip, simple, cheap, and quick poor man's uh, Yeti 400, say. Thanks. Rubicon Traveler.